Hey, what's up spooky fam? You guys might notice something a little different about me. I am feeling the blue. <laughs> Anyways, this is my what I watched in June video. This month we got through a lot of movies and when I say we, I'm going to be talking about one of my very, very good friends, Alex. You can check his channel out at Off The Cuff Reviews because I'm sure we're going to be talking about a lot of, like I know we probably only watched five movies that are diff, five movies that are different this month. Um, but I'm really excited because October I watched 22 movies and that was the most movies I watched in a month. So I was trying to beat that record this month. So let's see if I did that. So starting off the month on June 2nd, Alex and I watched Scream 2 and that is because we have this argument going that I personally believe Scream 2 is better than Scream 1. And while I love Scream 1, do not get me wrong, I think it's a fantastic movie. I just think it is a sequel that holds up better. Ginger, you're really annoying. Um, I think it's a sequel that holds up better than a lot of sequels. Plus I enjoy the opening scene so much. On the 5th, I watched Kung Fu Hustle for the first time. I really enjoyed that movie a lot more than I thought I would have ever enjoyed that movie. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was like the right amount of just weird and fun and violent and it was great. On the 5th, I also got Alex to watch The Perfection and I I'm a big fan of The Perfection. I know it has a lot of mixed reviews and I see a lot of mixed reviews for it, but I think it is such a fantastic movie with such a fantastic twist. As soon as the movie rewinds, like the first time I saw it, I was like, oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> On the seventh, I rewatched Blockers. I was in the mood for some John Cena cheese and it really hit me in the sweet spot. I love that movie. There's a couple of scenes in that movie that are just genuinely, like, just actually funny. And I don't know, I really enjoy John Cena. I, I, I was a big WWE fan for the longest time and I still am, like don't get me wrong, I will watch it when I can. But as soon as John Cena started stepping into more comedic roles, I was like living for it. He does like, what are the commercials where he rides a, a cow? Amazing. On the 8th, I got Alex to watch Climax and it was my first time watching Climax. And if you guys saw my video review, like I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but if you saw the video that I made about it, like I sucked that movie's dick. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. So the next five movies I also watched with Alex, Martyrs, which I loved. It is one of his favorite movies and it's quickly become one of my favorite movies because it made me feel the yucky that I was looking for and the yucky that I like needed. Um, like it just, it was the, the kind of movie that really brings you back to reality. I mean, like I just, it, when I was done watching it, I like stared at the wall and just kind of like thought about life for a minute and um, sometimes you just need that in a movie. On the 10th, we watched Scream 4. We just said fuck Scream 3 because of Courtney Cox's bangs. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Scream 4 is actually like, personally, it, in my opinion, it goes 2, 1, 4, 3. And I love 4 because I have the biggest crush on Rory Culkin. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> but I love Scream 4. I remember seeing it in theaters and actually being scared because it was the first Scream movie that I was ever able to experience in the theaters. On the 11th, we watched Shirley and I liked it. I want to rewatch it. I think I liked it more for the sexual tension alone, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I think I just liked it more or less for Elizabeth Moss alone. I think she is fantastic. And then on the 12th, we watched, we rewatched This Is The End, and that was like the right, like I needed to laugh, and th that movie just hit me in the giggle dick. It was so good. I guess I was feeling the same the next day because then I went ahead by myself and watched A Haunted House 2. I, here I am admitting that I love these movies, A Haunted House 1 and 2. I think they're so, funny because of like the vigorous um doll sex i i'm not like condoning anything here and like nobody take this out of context because the internet is wild right now but like 
It's hilarious the things that Marlon Wayans does to that Annabelle doll. It's just like, it's so out of left field that you're just sitting there like, is this happening? <laughs> On the 14th, Alex and I watched The King of Staten Island and I personally loved it. By the end, I was sobbing. I like Bill Burr in F is for Family. I think he's really good in that show. I don't normally like his stand-up, but I'll watch him whenever he's on H3. I really liked him in this movie. I don't know what it was. Um, maybe it was the weird mustache. I don't, I don't know, but I really, really liked Bill Burr in this movie. And like butthole eyes, Pete, Dav <laughs> Pete Davidson. I think he was like, I think he delivers like my kind of humor, like the dry kind of like really relatable down to earth humor. And how like Rico from Hannah Montana was so good in that movie. I loved it. I would like to watch that one again. And then like directly after that, like later on that night, I watched Faster um, with The Rock. Uh, it was just on Amazon Prime and I, surprisingly enjoyed it way more than I thought I would have. I, I don't know. I was in the mood for like senseless action and that was senseless action. On the 15th, I watched a movie called Stay with Alex. And fuck this movie, dude. <laughs> Alex, I know you're watching this. You did not even let me know that there was any sort of time loop. To, like nothing. In, I. I I hate time loop movies, and there's a couple of exceptions, but like, this one, I when it was done, I was like, oh wow, the fuck did I just watch? Like, <laughs> I was lost. <laughs> Not that I didn't get it, I just was like, lost. <laughs> On the 17th, I rewatched Pulp Fiction. I don't think I really need to say anything about this movie. Um, oh, one second. Alex actually sent me a Pulp Fiction poster because it's one of my favorite movies. Look how fantastic this is. I am in love with this. Anyways, on the 17th, we watched Possessor. I really thought it was such a great, like the gore in that movie was, like my mom kept walking in and being like, no fucking way, <laughs> walking out. It was so gory and so, the story was really good and all the performances were just top notch. And then on the 19th, we watched Greener Grass. It was my third time watching that movie and I cannot give that movie enough praise. I think it is so original, so strange, so funny, so ominous. I just, I can't get enough. Just the way that like she gives her the baby and she's like, do you want her? Like, oh my God, no, it's, it's, she's yours. Like, take her. Like, <laughs> we did a lot of rewatches this month. On the 20th, we rewatched I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, and I actually thought it was great. I thought I, I, I like it way more than the first one. I hadn't seen it since I was like an early teenager, and I loved it. I actually gave it a three and a half. I thought I was only gonna give it like a one when we started it. And then I rewatched Reservoir Dogs, and I think this is one of my favorite stories to watch unravel. I hadn't seen this since I was also like a really, really young teenager, but now that I'm older and I can understand things a lot better and be more invested in, and immersed into stories, this one is just 11 out of 10. Amazing. I also, I think like my, my top three celebrity crushes, Penn Badgley, Rory Culkin, and Tim Roth, that is a weird like three to like put together, but like but honestly, yeah, we're here. And then on the 22nd, I watched a short film that was on my, was this on my watch list? I'm pretty sure this was on my watch list called House of Straw. And it essentially was a short film that ended up being like a werewolf creature feature, I guess. But it was done very well and it was really sad, but like, I recommend it. It's on YouTube. And then on the 24th, I watched Scary Movie 5 and it was the biggest waste of my time in the entire world. I only liked this movie really for like the Black Swan parody and like the Evil Dead parody, but I ended up watching half of Black Swan after this. 
because I needed, I needed to watch a good movie. And then on the 26th, we watched possibly the best comedy special of the year so far, Eric Andre Legalized Everything. I even went ahead and rewatched it after I watched it the first after I watched it the first time because I thought it was that funny and that like rewatchable. It was so I was scream laughing the entire time I was watching it. A lot of the jokes were so unexpected and like the way he delivers things is it, it's just so it's so good. It's Chef's kiss. I love Eric Andre so much. And then I didn't log it yet, but I, I, I just because I'm I'm still frustrated, um, and I'm sure Alex is too. If you guys watched his video about it, you can go check it out on his channel now. Um, Under the Silver Lake was possibly one of the biggest wastes of time that I've ever experienced in my life. Um, aside from Andrew Garfield actually doing a really good job in that movie, I want a refund it felt like they were trying way too hard to rip off too many classic movie tropes and stuff it just it felt weird and unnecessary but i like i, I enjoyed the time that i had watching it but like would i rewatch it fucking no way all right anyways that's all for me this month this month for, for this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. If you've seen any of these, if you watched anything off this list, go ahead and let me know down below. Don't forget to check out my main channel for more reaction videos. If you like the blue hair, let me know. I think I'm gonna stick with it for a while. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Sayonara, spooky fam.